The pandemic has led to a number of shortages over the past two years, with the latest being volunteers. Local organizations who rely on volunteers are asking for help. Matthew Huddleston joins us now with more. Hey, Matthew, what did you find out? Hannah, I spoke with the American Red Cross and Cape Fear Volunteer Center today. They both say volunteer numbers have been increasing recently, but are still not where they were in the past. It has been a challenge to make sure that we can get all of the volunteers that we need in order to deliver the critical services that we provide in the community. James Jarvis with the American Red Cross says there has been a noticeable decrease in volunteers over the past few years. He attributes much of that to the pandemic. Jarvis says they've learned to adapt their volunteer campaigns to more virtual approaches, but that there's nothing like being able to help in person after a disaster being able to provide that care and comfort on the scene, standing on the curb with them face to face uh, to be able to provide that uh, assistance. Another organization seeing a change in their volunteer process is the Cape Fear Volunteer Center. Christina Lancaster says despite the challenges, their volunteer numbers have been on the rise. For the most part, we're seeing um, that our community is wanting to help more than ever. Lancaster says while the volunteer numbers fluctuate, the opportunities and needs are higher than ever. The one-time volunteer opportunities, uh, they come along very often. So when um, whenever we get them, we can always use volunteers to fill those position. James Jarvis says if you've been thinking about lending your time to help others, now is the perfect time for people to start. I would hope that they would look at opportunities to get more involved in their community, to really find what you're passionate about and donate your time to help in that regard. And if you would like to volunteer to help a local organization, we'll have a link on our website at www.aytv3.com. Hannah. Thank you, Matthew.